So hi and welcome, my name is Adam and today I'm gonna show you how to put a square on your face. So for that we're gonna use face recognition package and Python. So what this package does essentially is identifies faces within the pictures, can play around with its features, uh, give you some makeup and identify who is in the picture if the picture with the person was be provided beforehand and then code it. To explain you how this works, I'll use the examples. Those examples are provided by the authors of the package. Mine are pretty much the same as the ones provided here, but a bit altered for my needs for the showcase. So getting straight into it, I have three examples here. So one's for pictures, uh, another one's for video, and the last one is for the webcam. Looking at the packages imported, you can see that the main ones, the face recognition, uh, NumPy and bill for the image processing. So the basic structure of each example is the same and is the same like how the package works and does like its thing uh, for my showcase, but it's a square on your face, but uh, for others it can, you know, put the makeup or play the, with the features. So what to start with is you encode the pictures and faces, more specifically, which you want to encode for later identification. So in my case here, you can see Adam and Barack. Both of those are encoded. Just a note here, you should provide pictures just with a single face. Like you can provide it with multiple faces, but you know, need to ID the face and it's just, you know, easier than you have just one face in the picture. Afterwards, you just map the names of the people in the pictures with the encodings. So here are the corresponding encodings and here are the names. So Adam and Barack, uh, respectively. After that, the encoding is finished and you can just feed the pictures now and, you know, wait for those sweet squares on the faces. So how the actual processing happens, you load the image, it gets processed and the package finds the location of the face, then encodes it. And then afterwards, it matches it up against the known faces. So we have two faces known. So it matches the faces in the image against those two faces. And if the face is unknown, then well, just use the unknown for it. Selects the best fitting match and then identifies the face. And that's pretty much it. So I have a couple of pictures of myself here. These are taken within two week period and they're in different lightning, different angle and different people. So what the output of that looks is just this. Here you can see me and Barack identified correctly. Different angle still works, different lightning works, different Facebook. Uh, you know, makeover still works, silly face works, normal face works, everything works. Barak also works. So if we can do this to images, well, then we can do this to video as well, since video is just, you know, sequence of images. And with OpenCV, we actually have the ability to do that without too much work. So instead of just providing one image, we provide the whole file of images here and still do the encoding the same way as with the pictures. And then we provide frame by frame of the picture and identifies the face in that frame and then put, you know, the square and the, the name on the face. 
So it's pretty much the same as I said for video and for pictures. The biggest difference is just the input you give and the output you get. So after running this, you would get a file, uh, well, a video file. And this is not the exact output, but it's just side by side of input and output. So here on the left side, you can see my face as inputs without any identification at all. And on the right hand side, you can see my face already identified with the label on it. So if you just pull this. Yeah, so it's just me having fun with YouTube. And uh, you can see that movement uh, breaks the label sometimes, but my guess is just because the focus of the camera isn't that focused at that point, and that's why it breaks and doesn't identify you that well. But it can be just, you know, change of lightning, change of angle, change of something. Uh, if you would like to, you know, fight against that a bit, what you could play around with is tolerance. So tolerance is basically the sensitivity of the model. And tinkering with it can give you, you know, better results. Like, uh, let's say you are trying to do a script to unlock your laptop. So you want to have quite, you know, quite a good guess when your face is your face and not just any random face. And let's say an example of the video and just now you're going to be the only person in the video. So we don't really need, you know, for the model to be that accurate regarding the faces. Just want to, to, to get your face and that's pretty much it. So we got over the video. If video works well, webcam works as well. And it actually it's pretty much the same code as with the video. All you do is instead of a file, you just put a capture device here. Well, capture device ID. Zero is for default one, but uh, if you have another camera like me, you can find your device, well, at least on Linux in dev. So those are under the videos, video. So this is the default one. The first one gonna be the default one for me as well. And the second and third is for the default one as well. So yeah, uh, let me just get this one running. Like that, all the other parts are the same. You still encode the faces, you match those with the names, and then you run it uh, frame by frame. One thing to know is that it shrinks the size of the frame just to make it faster, but at least on my laptop, it's still quite laggy. So let's give it a run. So here you can see my face without identification because I'm looking up from my laptop. But if I would look down to it, you can see that the identification is up and running. Everything is fine. See that my face, but as I said, it's quite choppy. So yeah, so <clears throat> let's say you're a streamer and nobody knows you. You just want, you know, to ID yourself or the people. Well, you can use this to play around. Same with the YouTube videos. Want to make a unique video. Run your, your clip through this. Have a unique video with your face identified on it. Just, you know, for people, for people to recognize you better. So yeah, regarding this, it's uh, it's that it's, it's it's quite easy to use. Uh, as I said, I'll I'll put the link to face recognition package down in the description below. I'll put the link to my GitHub for the altered examples. Uh, if you want to connect with me, I'll put the links to my social media there as well, if you'll have some trouble installing the package or running it or anything, or just want to talk about data science in general. Uh, if you like the video, please 
click the like button. And if you want to follow me on this trippy trip to YouTube and data science, well, consider subscribing. So see you in my next video, I guess.